There are many Hyper-OS mods available from some time now and Xiaomi EU is one of them. It was so good previously but with Hyper-OS things are a bit changed here. Let's find out some of the things included with this Hyper-OS latest Xiaomi's Hyper-OS which is by Xiaomi.eu. It's been some time I tried Xiaomi EU and after trying this on my device right now, let me tell you some of the things here in this video. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. I've installed it on Poco F5. If your device officially supports HyperOS, then you can also try it out. One thing let me tell you that this is not one of those HyperOS modded rooms which brings you iOS style recense panel. It brings you only horizontal style which is same as the default one. The other options like same. One thing let me tell you once again that this is actually a modded MIUI room or modded HyperOS room but it's not with extra modifications it's only few useful things which were available even previously with MIUI additions too same kind of options available there and because this one which I have installed on my device POCO F5 it's based on China version so yes all the Chinese features etc are also available so that's also quite good one thing let me tell you that this is bringing you all the Google Apps pre-installed. Unlike in China rooms, you don't have the Google Apps pre-installed in China-based HyperOS. But in this case, you have Google Apps pre-installed because installing Google Apps in China-based HyperOS or MIUI is actually kind of a headache. So in this case, it's not a big thing. You have already installed and because it's based on HyperOS, so no compromises to the control center. Another thing is the OTA updater, which is actually one of the most interesting thing that OTA updater is already included here, which a lot of users seem to use this because it's there. Simply click on check for updates. If you have update, you can install that because updater is now updated in previous MIUI based Xiaomi EU. When I tried, it was not like that. Things are actually changed here. We have some options to update in fast boot mode and etc, etc. So to be very honest, I never updated any HyperOS or MIUI update show me EU update on my device so I'm not exactly sure but it's there so I just wanted to let you know unlike other MIUI or HyperOS modded rooms we don't have any extra any extra features available there some useful things are already there the default ones and because it's a modified version of the China version but we don't have any extra features here we have same kind of things available the same customization same features which I optimize I try on my device I turn off the pocket mode in notifications and status bar you will find some difference here number of notification icons shown in the status bar i don't think so it was available previously but it's there so yes i just wanted to let you know some icons which you can hide or unhide from the status bar available you can also modify or switch the control center side so you can simply swipe down from the left side swipe down from the right side whatever you feel comfortable with you can choose that very easily in display and brightness, you will not find extra features, just the refresh rate option if your device supports that and I guess almost every device supports that right now, especially if you are a HyperOS user. In sound and touch, you will find same kind of options there. Uh, I, I think so, it's been a long time when I made a video on MIUI or HyperOS mod with all the customizations or all the features covered. So yes, this is just an overview because it's been some time. Other things, sound and vibration, etc. Fingerprints, everything is there. No issues with those kind of mods there. You can definitely try out them on your device in case you want to. Screen time, etc. is kind of same. You have all the updated apps. For example, the new security app, which is available in HyperOS by default. The same thing is applied to memory extension that it's also there. You can use that. I don't think so it makes any huge difference to any device let me know in the comment box if it gives you any kind of difference here one more thing is in the theming section you will find that we have the themes from the China server but actually in English the translated theme manager also you have the import option available so as if you have an MTZ file you can simply install that and yes you can give it a try all the things I just wanted to let you know I have already shared with you other than else we do not find any kind of ads in Xiaomi U, so basically an upgraded version of the normal HyperOS. Don't miss it. In case if it is available for your device, you can check it out. The link is already available in the description for the official website. So yes, in case available, try it out. This is all. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like this. I will see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.